And so I think at grade 11 was the first time I went to a tryout for okay. Canada basketball, one of the junior teams, and then grade 12 made it. And then my first year, I would have been on the senior team. We would have, uh, at times, we were going three, two to three hour sessions a day with minimal recovery and minimal time for rest and even meals in between. I was one of those that always had something nagging, you know, whether it be Achilles problems or calves or certainly lower back, uh, shoulders. I would get a lot of muscle um, tears and muscle problems. Ultimately, an injury ended my career when I hurt my back. Together with the injury, as well as getting older, now it's sort of like, well, what can I do and what can? How am I, how am I, how am I going to stay active, given mm -hmm. all the restrictions that I have? So that's that's a that's a new life challenge rather than just basketball. I had become afraid of motion, you know, and I mm -hmm. had, oh, well, don't do this, don't bend over, don't stretch, don't touch your toes, um, especially sideways movement. I had completely taken any lateral exercises out of my because of all my like my hips and my back and I'd had injections in my back to actually create scar tissue so what they said was this is going to create um, they wanted to do a spinal fusion um, about six or seven years after I finished playing because I was still seeing the national team doctors when I ask you specific questions about well where does this insert and why is this exercise important and how does it connect to those mm -hmm. things when I get answers to those questions mm -hmm. um, that gives me confidence that you know what you're doing and I can trust you and I can do that and I won't get hurt. Mm -hmm. Now that's a bit of a different sort of decision making process than I'm sure some of your other okay. clients go through. Right. So I needed to ask you questions, almost test you in a way, like that mm -hmm. sounds a bit nefarious. I don't mean it like that, but I just mean, yeah, no. is he up to the challenge? As a trainer, you would need to be up for the challenge, number one, num and number two, really know um your stuff and then be able to put that into a sort of mobility and activity context which isn't easy to have all three take yourself um like you want to learn more you know you go to conferences you read papers you investigate things you're up on current um theories and current modalities and so i think I always said, you know, really what you need is somebody that's interested and interesting and they'll find the answer. And if you can find them, then hopefully you can work together. And then having, I remember two things, like I said, being able to go on this 12 hour hike, which was massive for me, because what that means is that's an activity I can do later in life. And I actually was able to do that, which I didn't really think I'd be able to do based on the length and the elevation. And coming mm -hmm. down is always quite hard on my back. Um, and without doing the work I did with you, I, there's no way I would have gotten through that. I just felt, I felt, uh, more strong and more put together in my body, which is clearly, you know, some internal strength and some internal stabilizers. Um, and I also was able to go for a bit of a, a run jog or a sort of a walk jog. Um, that's part of what I do now and I'm really careful with how I do that. I shouldn't really be running, but just the <laughs> idea I could even go for a two or three or four minute jog and just have that feeling again. I thought, well, what I'm doing is working. What we're doing is working. Mm -hmm. And then it was almost like this, oh, Neil, give me more, give me more, you know, because you can, you could feel it. So I, I can do the exercises which I really need to do to wake up my glutes, which have been asleep and dead for a long time. So it's not going to lock up my back and then I'm not going to have to stop and do nothing for three days. Never done as much uh, upper body, shoulder, mid back work before. Trying to get my scapula to be in the correct position. And the mm -hmm. training we've done with the cables and the mid back is probably the biggest thing. And then the glutes and their flexibility and they're able to, you know, their ability to bounce back is, is the next thing. So cool. that's been a wake up for me. And I would say going forward, I'm an advocate of BAM. <laughs> You're a bammer for the rest, <laughs> of your, for the rest of your life. A, a bammer instead of a baller. <laughs> it's the idea that you really do have to move and you have to move in every day. And chance favors the prepared mind. And that has mm. always been my favorite quote because mm. I really don't think there's, um, you know, there's like coincidences or anything mm -hmm. like that. I think if you do the work and you do the preparation and the opportunity presents itself, then you could take advantage of it.